Hi guys, welcome to an Urban Viking um, unboxing and ale review. Um, I've got a surprise in a post today um, from a brewery called Allendale. Now then, um, they saw some of my reviews and they said they'd like to see me try their Wolf, wolf beer, which um, to be honest with you, I've never heard of the brewery before because there's so many breweries that I haven't heard of yet. I'm sort of just making my way through the Southwest ones at the moment. Um, and uh, they said they'd like to see me review it and I asked them obviously you know, how do I go about buying it? Because I usually do a lot of my shopping from online um, stores. And uh, they said they'll send me some down. And um, a parcel's arrived today. Um, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm bloody overwhelmed again at how kind uh, some people can be. Um, I'll give you an idea of what's in it. I won't show off or anything, you know. But I mean, they've given me some lovely coasters, which, you know, I do need. Because I don't know if you noticed during my reviews, you, you tend to hear this noise a lot. It's because I've got like a marble sort of, um, almost like a, a, a massive coaster. But now I've got um, some lovely coasters here. I can just plonk the glass on. And there's no more noise. <laughs> God. It's the simple things that please me. Anyway, they gave me a, a really lovely note in it. It says, um, Dear David, please find enclosed a few samples of our owls, plus a pint glass and some info on our brewery. We really enjoy your reviews and we hope you like our beers, especially the Wolf. It is our best selling beer up here in the north. Looking forward to the reviews, best wishes, Emily. Uh, now I know Emily is uh, a sister of uh, one of the brewers. Uh, she works in the admin department. And, um, and it's really, really kind. Thank you so much, I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, this is the glass. I have actually opened the box just to have a, a quick look, but it can be a nice pint glass as well, um, which is awesome stuff and some nice info as well which I'll be having a read later um, I'm not going to sit here and read it, uh, read it all to you but I will do it during my reviews I'll give you an idea of what they sent me, they've given me um, a, a golden ale I've never tried any of these so I'm really really looking forward to trying them a golden plover which is a golden ale um, they've given me a, a tar ball which is a, a real traditional stout um, I'll be giving you all the info and ABVs on these when I review them. Um, a Wagtail Ale, which is their best bitter. So, you know, they're covering all the spectrum so far. Golden Ale, Stout Bitter. Um, what is that? Beacon Fire, that's a chilli beer. <laughs> that would be my very first one of those. Um, right, that would be interesting. And um, ah, oh, this is the one I've been looking forward to. Beer with bite. Look at that. Woof. Wow. But um, the one I'm going to be reviewing, like I said, I opened the box about half an hour ago, and I've stuck one of them in the fridge. So excuse me, professional as always. Um, this is the one I'm going to be reviewing, which is their lager, um, which I believe is called Adder. Yeah, Adder Lager. Um, it comes in a nice little bottle, and I'm going to be putting it in their glass, um, which I gave a little wash earlier. So you know, it's all professional here. Yeah. Um, so it's the first time I've ever tried the brewery, um, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, let's give you some info on this lager anyway. Let's see what we've got on here. Um, okay, it won beer of the festival at Newcastle 2009. The adder is Britain. Oh, okay. It just gives you a bit of information on the adder, i.e., the, you know, the snake. Um, actually, let's read that. It's quite interesting. The adder is Britain's only venomous reptile and is one of the most feared of our native animals. However, it is an extremely shy and retiring creature, so a human is more likely to be killed by a wasp sting than an adder's bite. Ah. Well, let's hope this doesn't kill me. 5%, um, like I say, it's a lager. There's nothing really else on there um, other than the website, which is www.allendalebrewery.com. And it's a lager. I'm really interested in trying um, craft lagers because, you know, there's not that many I've tried yet. Uh, I tried a Hop Damon one, which was really nice. Um, so I'm hoping this one's going to be good as well. So let's give it a go. Okay, yeah, getting a nice sort of, um, well, typical lager colour, really. 
There's a nice carbonation going on there as well. And you can see that sort of charging up. I love this glass. I haven't really got, I haven't got a thin straight one. Uh, that's probably the nearest I've got to one of those, which is quite big. So, right, let's get a nose on this. As you can see, it's a nice lager colour. Uh, hardly any head, or well, virtually none. No, that doesn't smell like a lager. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm getting some really nice. Um, sort of goldeny fruits and a little bit of a like a, a zesty sort of hop um, also a little bit of bubblegum uh, like a nice fruity bubblegum yeah um, it's like a, a musty sort of citrus uh, with this lovely Sort of bubblegum flavour. I mean, if you you know what I mean. If you if you've sensed bubblegum uh, smells in beers, you're getting it with this, which is strange for a lager. And also getting a bit of banana as well. Um, yeah, there's definitely banana in that as well. Wow, that's got some really nice smells. Um, okay, let's give it a go. Cheers, cheers, Emily, and all the guys at Allendale. Thank you very much for this. I'm really really happy about it. Oh wow, that is really smooth. I'll tell you what, the initial taste when you get it is um it's very much like a nice you know, like a premium quality lager. Um you're getting a nice bit of bitterness, you're getting a nice little sort of slight sort of um fruitiness. Uh and the aftertaste uh is almost like that sort of like pilsnery sort of um grab <clears throat> but not very not very powerful but then while you're drinking it you're getting these lovely um, notes which go up your nose um, and then somehow sort of like combined with the taste which gives it a really sort of summery um, flavour oh it's really good that's a really nice lager I was a bit worried at first because I thought because I mean I'm not a massive fan of banana and um and I was hoping that it didn't really portray too much into the taste but it is there it's really really subtle and it's really cleansing um really really good I was expecting it to have a bit of a a really bitter sort of bite you know being adder and saying about you know the adder snake and the bites etc but this is really, really nice. I'll tell you what, uh, a lot of my mates would like this because it's um, it's just really refreshing and really smooth. I might have to um, look into getting a case of this or something. That is really nice. Um, see, just calling it a lager, I think, is... Um, putting it down a bit. Um, I think there's more to it. I'd say it's more of um, like a lager stroke golden ale or something like that. It's got a really nice floral flavour to, uh, flavor to it as well. Uh, and, and the nose, the nose on it is lovely. Um, see it says on here a crisp refreshing Pilsner style lager. See now when I try a Pilsner lager I expect it to be really, like I say, you have that sort of bite and that grip to it. But this is really nice, really refreshing and really smooth. Um, and it's just got, oh, that burp, wow. Mm. It's got a nice sweet burp on it as well. This is really nice. Um, that's going to get, from me, oh, what's that going to get? I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. Um, that's a really nice lager. That's probably one of my faves lagers so far that I've tried. Um, there's another one as well. What was the other one I reviewed? Oh, blimey. I've done so many reviews. I need to slow down a bit, I think. Um, I can't recall it now. I'll remember it some other time. Was it the Brooklyn? Yeah, the Brooklyn lager. That's my favourite lager so far, without a doubt, because it's just got all these wonderful flavours. But this, this is, this is a slightly toned-down version, I think, but... It's just got these lovely summery, um, gorgeous notes to it, 
And it's a shame it's in such a small bottle because I could easily down a, a 500 of this without a doubt. Um, it's 5%, so you know, it's about average, sessionable, um, and it's really nice. So, yeah, if you do see this one, Allendale, add a lager, get it. If you see it on tap in a pub, let me know where that pub is. <laughs> so, um, thank you very much, Allendale Brewery. Thank you very much for watching. That's gone. That's gone. Look at that. Lovely. Really nice. And I'm not saying it because it's free, Terry. <laughs> it's really good. I hope you've got some of this because then you'll know. I know Simon from The Real Ale Guide. You've got it. Tell him, Simon. Tell him how nice it is. Don't have to believe me. Watch him. I never lie. Cheers!